Hello everyone, welcome to a new vault day. So today it's time to open our vault again and see if we get lucky this week. Um, I've had some progress this week, I got to Platinum now. But I've been struggling since entering Platinum a bit to move up to Diamond. So maybe this new vault uh, can give me some cards to get me over the hump. So let's open it and let's see where we go. I had a maxed uh, fault this week, as you can see. So no chest will rank up, of course. No standard token. I'm afraid I'm getting a lot more um, extra copies this week, but we'll see. Twin Discipline is really nice. Shadow Find as well. I'm not a big fan of this card. I just got this week my third uh, Kinku, and here's my fourth one. Well, copy now. Professor von Yip, it's really interesting with Timo, I think. But I have not been playing it, and I think it's four mana. It's pretty late for the stats. If it was a three mana card with Timo, it would be much more interesting, I think. Otherwise, it's probably better with Poros. Another Tiana, that's really nice. Soul Goats is nice. Another Fonyip. Mobile. These are all nice cards. And 680 shards. That's pretty good. Another Kinku. Spirit Ravage is uh, very nice, this one too. Actually, uh, Absorb Soul might be really nice if you have uh, a control deck with a lot of last breath units and then drain four from it. I think this card is very underrated still, but under early on you mostly don't want to drain that once to keep your health high, but it's good against aggro decks. Drain four is a lot. And then you can release your um, Curse Keeper. Okay, next one. Some more wild cards. Yeah, I think Caustic Cass, I think it would actually be viable and a really good card if it only targets enemy Nexus and not your own. Then I think it would be really good. But uh, it, I've seen it used in some burn decks with Jinx, I think. I think it's interesting, but um, not good right now. Six shots, always nice. You sorry. Careful is actually pretty nice with toughness. Roar. Uh, I remember in the Beaver Pets when it was fast, it was so broken. Now it's slow, it's pretty bad, actually. There's a difference between slow and fast. 600 shots. I hope we get uh, at least a champion this week. Two Poros. And my favorite ones, because these are the elusive ones. If you're making a um, Poro deck, I would say uh, go with Piltover Son with Valiot and use the Daring Poro. This one can be good. Border Lookout is really bad. I don't like it. Barry is nice. I want to in future uh, play more with uh, Karma decks and Barriers probably. So it's good for that. Paddler. That's the one I really wanted. Because I was considering um, crafting some with my wildcard some Paddlers. But since uh, it was Fall Day, I thought maybe I get from Fall some. So I don't have to craft the rest. I want to try to combine it with Ezreal since I've been playing a lot of Ezreal and now with the meta slowing down a bit, I think Ezreal is getting better. And actually, I think with Petler in combination, I think I can improve the deck a bit further. Might is nice too. Two epics, that's at least nice. So Shadow Flare and Imperium and Treat. I'm not sure how about Intuit. You need kind of a deck with only one champion. 
or two champions with uh, both tables. So I can think of as well, but I really have not found the use of it yet. Only in the games that last a bit longer, it could be useful, but for the rest. And uh, maybe you can keep it for discarding otherwise, if you don't need it. But keeping a card which you discard, I don't like that concept at all. Yeah, Funsmith really good, but stats are too low. So I don't think we got any champions. That's too bad, 600 shards. Three epics, that's an improvement, but uh, no champions at all. And 2100 um, shards. I think last week we had 2400, but we had a lot more copies um, back then. A lot more um, rare co uh, copies, especially. So it's nice we got some new cards. I like that. Three epics is quite nice, but I'm really lacking on champions still. So every champion I get, I'm happy with. So thank you all for watching my fault video. And I hope to see you for the next one. Goodbye.